Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Kingston Logistics Centre is looking to ramp up the availability of container homes in Jamaica. The company had the official launch of that business line on Wednesday. Javon Keys was there. Around the world, container homes are becoming more and more popular. The size of the container home market in 2021 was estimated at $56.85 billion worldwide. And it is expected to grow to $87.1 billion by 2029. What I'm standing in is an upcycled shipping container. Now, in a time where housing solutions are of concern, Kingston Logistics Center has come up with a few options. So depending on a person's price point or what they're looking for, we have three solutions. We have two one-bedrooms, two two-bedrooms, and uh, two three-bedrooms. And there's a standard offer and an ultra offer, which gives the ultra offer would give you a little bit more space, a little bit more luxury perhaps. But the, all our units are insulated. All our units come with ceramic tiling. All our units are nice and comfortable. And then you have the option to add the amenities. You know? So if you want to do the glass railing or you want to do the solar units. The offerings range from 2.3 million Jamaican dollars for a one bedroom facility to 12.5 million dollars for a three bedroom unit. Persons would need land to set up the facilities. Prime Minister Andrew Holness says with a deficit of 100,000 homes in the local market, there is a space for container homes, especially in areas being redeveloped. Many of them were built 50, 60, 70 years ago. They are now at a stage where the buildings have reached their useful life and uh, they are not necessarily providing shelter. The, the, the truth is they are more a harm to the residents than they provide safety and shelter. And then of course, we have another segment of the housing market, which would be the irregularly settled lands right across Jamaica. In KLC says the containers have a more than 30-year lifespan and they are assured a consistent supply of containers from their parent company, Zim Integrated Shipping. As it is now, individuals interested in getting one of these solutions will have to have their own land. However, Kingston Logistics Center says it's exploring the option of possibly building out communities with these solutions. Javon Keyes, TVJ News. The U.S. dollar is being sold for an average $153.76. $115.46 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar. $191.45 for the pound, while it's costing an average $173.63 for the euro. And to the stock market now, the JSE index gained 275 points today, while the junior market index increased by 23 points. Among the winners, Mayberry Jamaican Equities, Sagicor Select Funds Financial, Laska Distributors, General Accident Insurance Company and the Jamaica Stock Exchange. On the losing side, we had Key Insurance Company, Proven Group, U.S. Dollar Shares, iCreate, Lumber Depot and Sterling Investments. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.